Hey everyone, so for this week's lab, we're going to be creating a gang print. Uh, it's not what it sounds like, <laughs> um, but so what we're doing is, you know, our final images are going to be printed as 11 by 14s. Um, instead of burning a hole through a whole bunch of paper and ink by making test prints all at that same size, instead we're going to take, um, in this case, three of the files and make them a bit smaller, but get them all to fit on one piece of paper so we can make our test print on there. So we're essentially doing three test prints on one piece of paper. Now what's important too is that we need to make sure we are print doing our test prints on the same type of paper that we're going to be doing our final prints on. Um, so if you remember my lecture on printing and printing papers, I talked about how depending on your subject, it's going to look better on different types of paper. So um, that's something else to consider. So for this, uh, you know, depending on our supplies, we might have some different types of paper and I'll go over this in class to see what our options really are. Um, but it's usually going to be either luster, glossy, or matte papers. Uh, for the most part, luster is just a good overall uh, paper to print on because it does have a little bit of a gloss to it, a little bit of a texture. But it really also depends on your images. So anyways, uh, that's something to consider is, to, like I said, make sure that we are doing our test prints on the same paper uh, that we're going to do our final prints on because if you do like a test print on matte paper uh, and then you make adjustments for how it looks on matte paper but then do the final print on luster you're not going to get consistent results okay so anyways let me show you how to make a gang print file from three print files all right so first of all you need to choose three of your projects and these should be three of your projects that you're going to be using for your final portfolio um, so first of all, you need to go ahead and follow the directions that I've given you before on creating three print files. So um, I've already done this. So for each of these files, I made sure that they are resized to um, 11 inches by 14 inches. We're in the Adobe RGB 1998 color space. Uh, these are all at 300 pixels per inch. I also have my base layer with all of my... The, from my working layers, my working file with all of my edits. Then I have a sharpening layer and my lightning layers. And I went ahead and did that for three different images. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to um, make a, what's called a merge stamp visible. And I've already told you guys, uh, you know, in lab here and there, some of you about how to do this, but I'm going to go over it with you right now. So what this does is that it creates a new layer based off of everything that we see right now. So um, that way, when I need to take this, uh, all this information over to a new document, it's all there. So <laughs> bear with me. This is uh, probably the shortcut that I know of, at least. It has the most keys you have to push. So it's going to be um, Command, Option, Shift, and E. Um, I'm sorry, Command if you're on a Mac, and it's Control if you are on a PC. So uh, Command or Control, Option, Shift, E. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Command, Option, Shift, and, the, and E. Okay, so what you see now is over here in my Layers panel, I now have um, basically exactly what you see here so if i turn all of these off it's going to look exactly the same this is going to make it easier to move it all to another file in just a moment so i'm going to go ahead and do that for each of these command option shift e or control if you're on a pc and command option shift e all right awesome so now i need to go ahead and create a new photoshop file so let's go ahead and come here i'm going to go to file new and I want to go ahead and follow these dimensions. So first off for the uh, site, for the title, I'm going to say uh, gang print and whatever makes sense to you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put retouching. So I have one for the retouching assignment, uh, liquify, and what's my last one? Uh, glitch. Okay. So I have those three in there so I know exactly that this is my gang print file for these three files. So now I'm going to go ahead and make this 12 by 18 
Um, actually, I don't think I'm going to go 18 by 12. It doesn't really matter because we're going to flip them around anyways, but this is just better for seeing everything on my screen. <laughs> okay, resolution 300 pixels per inch, RGB color, yes that is correct, 16 bit, yes, background contents white, fine, color profile Adobe RGB 1998, perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and click create. And now I have this here, um, and what we're going to do now is copy and paste those merge vi stamp visible layers onto this file. Okay, so let me come over here to my first file and I'm gonna hit Command or if you're on a PC, Control C for cat, C is for cat, and that's gonna copy and I'm gonna come to my gang print file and go ahead and go um, Command or if you're on a PC, Control V, V as in Valentine, alrighty. And let's see, next I'm gonna go to my this one here, same thing, uh, copy, Commander Control C, then Commander Control V, and then my last one, uh, Commander Control C, and then Commander Control V. So now I have my three different images here, and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and let's see, flip this one. Um, so I think it's gonna work best if I have them all lined up straight down right so let's go ahead and flip that i'm going to go to edit i'm going to go to uh, where is it transform and i'm going to go ahead and rotate uh, 90 degrees clockwise that's fine okay so now i'm going to go ahead and select all three of these layers so i'm going to hold down shift and i have this layer selected now so i'm going to hold down shift and click on this one and that selects all three layers and i'm going to hit command or if you're on a pc control and t t is in um tattoo Alrighty, and i'm going to pull these down i need to get them all um, Let's see about there. Nope, that's not gonna that's not gonna fit all there. Let's see where we're at right here. Okay, so now I just need to move them all around so I can make sure I get a print of each of these in here. And so obviously uh, I'm not gonna be able to get them all at that size. So let's go ahead and do this again. And again I'm gonna transform Commander Control T. Okay, and now let's try that out. Oops. Mm. Oh, that's what's going on. I have my auto select on. Years of photoshopping. <sighs> Still getting used to that new kind of new feature. <laughs> all right, so you can see that it's uh, they're all fitting now. I've got a little bit of extra space, so I'm going to go ahead and just make them a little bigger. So I'm going to uh, select them all again. Again, I'm going to free transform by hitting Command or Control T and just pulling it down till it hits that bottom edge. Okay, there we go. Now I'm ready to do my print. Now at this point, you know, it's totally up to you. Do you want to move it? move them in the center so you have some extra room for notes. Maybe that would be fine. But um, okay, so now we're ready to print this on a piece of 13 by 19 inch paper, uh, just as we did before, making sure that we're using the correct color settings. You saw how big of a difference that made. Once you guys have done this game print, um, not just the file, but actually print it out, go ahead and uh, bring it up to me and make sure that you get some points for this assignment.